Is it time to buy or sell QQQ ETF? In this video, we will explore QQQ in depth. Our initial report was published on our website on Friday, the 9th of August, 2024, and now we are here to provide you with an even more comprehensive analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest insights. You do not want to miss any important updates that could influence your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any one among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. Since the 9th of August, 2024, our system has categorized QQQ as a hold or accumulate, resulting in a score of negative 0.7. Now let's examine the stock's performance during this time frame. The stock has experienced natural fluctuations, but it currently shows no change, with a loss of 0.0% since our initial hold or accumulate recommendation. The exchange-traded fund is positioned within a broad and modestly ascending trend in the short term, indicating the possibility of further upward movement within this trend. The current three-month trend suggests a potential change of approximately 2.57% over the next three months, with a possible return ranging from negative 0.89% to positive 15.57%. Regarding the 12-month trend, it indicates a change of about 34.27% over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 29.92% and 53.37%. This translates to a price range of $585.17 to $690.78 after one year. Our latest daily update for QQQ includes the headline, Stronger Technical Forecast for QQ ETF Price After Friday Trading. The QQQ ETF price gained approximately 0.522% on the last trading, which was Friday, the 9th of August, 2024. It rose from $448.07 to $450.41. During this trading day, the ETF fluctuated by 1.44%, with a low of $445.63 and a high of $452.06. The price has been experiencing volatility during this period, with a loss of 2.71% over the past two weeks. Volume decreased on the last day by 14 million shares, totaling 33 million shares traded for approximately $14.99 billion. It is important to consider that declining volume amid rising prices may indicate divergence and could serve as an early warning of potential changes in the coming days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of the ETF was $503.52, while the lowest price was $342.35. Currently, the price stands at 10.55%, or $53.11, below the 52-week high of $503.52, which is also the all-time high for the ETF. Recent developments surrounding the Invesco QQQ Trust ETF reveal significant shifts in market sentiment that could impact stock prices both in the short and long term. As of today, QQQ has plunged into correction territory, largely due to a rotation away from technology stocks towards small cap and value plays. This trend may continue as the market grapples with fears surrounding the excitement around artificial intelligence technologies and their forthcoming monetization. The strong performance of real estate investment trusts recently, outpacing technology stocks and the Standard & Poor's 500, underscores changing investor preferences and could indicate a prolonged period of volatility for QQQ. Additionally, heightened recession odds, now estimated at 25% by Goldman Sachs, contribute to an uncertain economic landscape, further pressuring technology valuations. With interest rate cuts anticipated by the Federal Reserve, there might be short-term relief for technology investors. However, 
the focus is shifting towards scrutinizing financial returns from artificial intelligence-related expenditures, evidenced by market players anticipating insights from NVIDIA's upcoming earnings. Consequently, QQQ investors need to be prepared for continued volatility in the technology sector while also balancing the potential benefits of diversification strategies in their portfolios. This transitional phase in market conditions may lead to a reassessment of risk appetites and investment strategies in the longer term. The following signals have been identified for QQQ. There are mixed signals in the exchange-traded fund today. The QQQ ETF holds a buy signal from the short-term moving average. However, the long-term average presents a general sell signal. Since the long-term average is above the short-term average, this indicates a prevailing sell signal for the ETF, suggesting a more negative outlook for the stock. Should there be further gains, the ETF will encounter resistance from the long-term moving average at $474.32. Conversely, if the ETF declines, it will find support from the short-term average at $445.22. A breakout above the long-term average will trigger another buy signal, while a drop below the short-term average will reinforce the sell signal and strengthen the overall trend. Additionally, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, also known as MACD. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Wednesday, August 7, 2024, and thus far, it has risen by 3.6%. Further upward movement is anticipated until a new top pivot is established. Notably, trading volume decreased during the last trading day, even as prices rose, indicating a divergence between volume and price, which may serve as an early warning. Consequently, the ETF warrants close observation. Here are some additional insights you may find intriguing. Moving average convergence divergence indicates a sell signal. Pivots suggest a buy signal from three days ago. Bollinger bands show a buy signal from five days ago. The short-term moving average presents a buy signal from two days ago. The long-term moving average indicates a sell signal from 14 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages also points towards a buy signal from 14 days ago. Examining the 12-month chart reveals the short moving average issued a sell signal 19 days ago. The long-term moving average indicates a sell signal from seven days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages highlights a buy signal from 180 days ago. For more detailed signals, be sure to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Support, risk, and stop loss analysis for QQQ. QQQ finds support from accumulated volume at $448.75. This level may present a buying opportunity, as an upward reaction is anticipated when this support is tested. This exchange-traded fund typically experiences average daily movements, and with solid trading volume, the risk is regarded as medium. Over the last day, the fund fluctuated $6.43 between its high and low, which represents 1.44%. In the past week, it has shown an average daily volatility of 2.97%. Before we dive into the potential trading levels for QQQ, let's briefly explore some essential fundamental data. First, consider the price to earnings ratio, commonly referred to as the PE ratio. This important metric compares a company's current share price to its earnings per share. A relatively low PE ratio may suggest that there are low expectations for the company's future or that the stock is undervalued, which could indicate a potential buying opportunity. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for QQQ. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for QQQ is at 458 and 27 cents. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a suitable point to consider for swing trading. On the downside, QQQ encounters its first support level at $448.75. If this support level holds, it may present a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. 
Our recommended stop loss is set at $424.93, reflecting a decrease of 5.66%. This exchange-traded fund exhibits medium daily fluctuations, indicating a medium level of risk. Additionally, there is a buy signal generated from a pivot bottom identified 22 days ago. Is the QQQ ETF a good investment? The QQQ ETF shows several positive indicators. However, we still believe these are insufficient to classify it as a buy candidate at this time. Currently, we recommend considering it as a hold or accumulate position while awaiting further developments. Our analysis has been upgraded from a sell recommendation to a hold or accumulate slate stance since the last evaluation. After reviewing the volatility and movements from the previous trading day, our systems indicate that the current price appears overvalued. For trading on Monday, the 12th of August, we anticipate that the QQQ will open lower by $1.04, starting at $449.37. It is important to note that trading carries a significant risk of financial loss. We strongly encourage you to consult with a financial advisor before making any decisions regarding the purchase or sale of securities. Please do not rely solely on the information provided by StockInvest.us when making your investment choices. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and accept responsibility for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? We encourage you to comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the exchange traded fund? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day. With warm regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.